Hey everybody, welcome back to the Utterly Pointless Channel's Cyril and Ultimate Playlist, and today I am going with the goblet of complaining without putting 5,000 extra essence in. Uh, I'm kind of the daddy warbucks of currency right now, but um, just for the fun of it, I'm working on a, uh, an evoker uh, team here with familiars, and I'm also, instead of using Zante, uh, who would absolutely blast everything out of the water every millisecond or two, uh, he's gotten to be that awesome, um, I'm going with Anelta, so that would be this avatar with the trait Grandiose, so at the end of your creature's turns, they, their turn counter increases by three additional turns, and in addition, your creatures act as if they have three more buffs, debuffs, and minions than they actually have. This trait does not stack. So, um... Oh, shoot. I meant that to say more creatures. Hmm. So, let me see. Uh... Here, get rid of you. Let me just check that codex. See, it's always good to check the letter of the law, so to speak. Um... So yeah, just go to your codex if you get a little forgetful like me, and then just type in something like more C-R-E, like so. And there we go, blessings of sand. All right, your creatures, traits, and other effects act as if your party contains three more creatures that belong to the same class. This trait does not stack, so... Um, Let's see, so that's Sphinx Ordainer. Hmm. Who do I have? Do I have enough space? Yeah, I do. Sure. So I can get a familiar in there, and uh, let me see if I actually have a Sphinx Ordainer. I don't use Sphinx as much, because... Yeah, whatever. Um, where are you? Let's see, Sphinx Ordainer. Huh. Do I even have any? No. Wow, um, let me see what I got here, um, did I buy one? I probably do, uh, just because when I'm at a shop, I'm like, huh, this looks interesting to buy. Nope. Well, darn it. All right, back to the codex then. Uh, shoot. Oops. Uh, sorry, force of habit. Uh, bestiary, rather. All right, Isaros. Very good. I will run over there, and I think I got enough currency, just with the kind of luck I've had lately. Ooh, eleven. There we go. All right, and I'll bring it all the way down to one eighty-eight, and let's see the Barons. That was Isaros, I believe. Um, I have this feeling that. That's not it. Um, just with my luck. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I hardly ever go to Isaros' place. Um, fighting her was really nasty, so I just avoid her in general. So let's get back to... Yay, her shop, and so that was the Sphinx, uh, whatever, um, or Daner, there we go. I'm gonna cleanse my portal before I leave, <laughs> ugh.
So as you can see with me not being there, my favor level is really pretty. So I can't say as I really miss it. I mean, I haven't had anything crucial that I need to get out of here until now. Um, so this will be fun getting some uh, sphinxes and uh, familiars too. Oh, it's this guy. I've usually been using this. There we go. And let's see, I'll try here. And I'll try here. There we go, and maybe here. Oh. <laughs> and then maybe here. And then maybe... B-A-B-Y. Uh... <laughs> Do I get treasure out of this? Okay, and wow, I'm having a real good run. Oh, <laughs> all right, so let's see how the old currency went up. Nice, pretty good for a uh, fun run minus what 800, <laughs> something like that. So, oh. Like portal. So all this treasure is how it gets to be once you get to level 35 or 38 in a realm, so. Just about to hit level 38 there. So, not a bad trip out to Eseros, is it? used to be really daunting, kind of like everybody else's, but that was a pretty good treasure run, I'll say. I, uh... I think that was the luckiest that I've had, so I'm gonna just take that bit of lumber and see if we can find that trader that was camping out somewhere. Oh, did I use that? Alright, Yeah, I could just about level up uh, the realm here, so. I wonder if these cacti give you power-ups eventually. But we'll see. So yeah, some of these lower level rewards are kind of eh, but they do add up very nicely. So if you're tired of getting slapped around uh, at level one or two in one of these realms, uh, you're thinking about giving up the game, just give it a chance. Uh, be patient and you'll start to get some aid from the realms instead of just having them wind up being a nasty environment to fight in so there's another 75 favor hooray and it'll be just getting out of here i got what i needed and i won't be having enough um emblems to purchase anything else familiar wise but that'll be fine i'll be able to get something fun together <laughs> And I'm not moaning that, oh, I'm too powerful, but I kind of am. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wound up grinding a ton of uh, nether stones, and I used that to just upgrade synergy so my creatures just had base stats. 
uh, good enough to fight. And I noticed that, you know, my creatures were going to get blasted away um, a lot of times just by a, a thumb, uh, I mean, just by a fan, well, uh, what's the, um, just by a hair's breadth, I guess. So, it's oh, not treasure. Oh, the water. There we go. All right. So, yeah, this is kind of a small realm, too. Hmm. It's kind of an obsessive habit, but um, just uh, cleaning out a realm as fast as you can and not always uh, doing that is uh, pretty much recommended just so you can have enough to fall back on just in case you get a crazy idea that you want to test to its fullest instead of half leveling an artifact, for example. So let me just jump over some of the Sphinx and that should do it for the time being. I'm working on my art store, so there we are, Reverend. Oh shoot, that's right, I got a, I got an online meeting. Oops. Uh, shoot. Uh, let's see, let me just get to the familiars, oh boy. Oops. Um, hmm. I don't really care much about using uh, spell charges and regaining them just because I use Generous so much. So while Mystical Familiar might look really, really awesome... I mean, everybody has a generous spell gem or six uh, to use, so the way things are set up right now, I don't need to recharge anything. They just all do their work, and that's good. So I'll use Pierce the Veil and uh, go to in party Sphinx Ordainer, and wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Uh, that was the Arcane. Oh, boy. Oh, did I save a... Where are you? Arcane... What? Wait a minute. Didn't I have... Hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, he's already fused. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I just want to double check. Um, this is just there's just uh, so much going on sometimes. Um, so I'll make sure that the Sphinx doesn't get fused, and that instead the familiar gets phased in instead. So uh, fused in. Um, this is what low blood sugar is all about. Yay. Um, okay, so I used Pierce the Veil because I didn't want anything else, and there we go. Get a nice wacky color palette, and there we go. So, hopefully, uh, not much more fun to the team on the way. So, always make sure that you leveled up your older team members and your brand new ones. So, there you go. So even if you flounder around a little bit, you can at least have a couple of brick walls to horse around with. And uh, I'm going to just um, unattune everything. Just to be giving everything a fresh set of eyes here. So... And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a fun build here anyway. 
uh, especially with, oh wait, I don't have an elf anymore, uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, let me just get rid of, uh, the purifier here, um, oops, yeah, let's see, <laughs> all right, so there we go familiars for everybody and I probably have a blending in artifact I can create so uh, that will augment the number of uh, familiars that are here so I'm going to use all for one and um, pierce the veil will be very nice too so um, there's two familiars so that will be uh, 50 percent um, bypassing of defense here with spells cast and then um, and the, an additional uh, two times uh, spells cast um, for each fam uh, familiar rounded down and then uh, I'll be using some blending in stuff here um so this will be fairly aggressive even without zante casting uh eight billion times i will be using um a thousand needles here um let me see and i do have a sorcery creature nearby so um this will be a very nice way to get everybody's intelligence up quickly uh, arcane brilliance and purple tether uh, work great so I th think I might have thoughts and prayers here. I know I do now, so there we go. So yeah, this will be really nice. Um, if I just cast this and I take out the class swap, uh, so it's a sorcery again, um, this will make it regular sorcery so um oh whoops excuse me uh, so i thought um i've seen it enchanted to sorcery so many times so uh whoops there we go and Yeah, that'll be really awesome intelligence boosts. Anyway, um, just a couple of sneak peeks here at the team. I'm going to get going home. I just wound up way far out um, as a result of a goofy delivery. And so I'm on the way. Hope you enjoy your night. And uh, I'm going to be posting a community chat sort of thing. It might be just a video, might be a post. Uh, but keep an eye out if you'd like to share your build uh, be very happy to hear from you thank you 